Welcome back, everybody. I'm back. So let's see what's going on with the masculine and the karmic. How the masculine feels about the karmic. Um, real quick, guys. Let's talk about personal reads. I am available for personal readings. I'm going to stop at a certain number because I like to get those out in within 24 hours. Okay? So I don't like to overload myself and get, you know, have to work for two, three days to get readings out. And then I don't push my readings out on my YouTube channel. So availability is open. I'm going to put my contact information in the comment section below. All right. So you can reach out if you are new. Okay. I'm doing new client specials, $25 for a personal read. Okay. So let's get into it, guys. We got a jumper. We, it says, just know that me choosing to stay has nothing to do with you. Okay, this person, they say it ain't got nothing to do with you. Let's see what else. How does this masculine feel about McCormick? My Carmen likes to start an argument over you all the damn time. I'm starting to believe she is obsessed with you. It is. They always do. They always do. They always be obsessed. Give me one more card. Well, we're going to do pull more than three cards. Don't worry if you don't hear from me right away. I'm not trying to ignore you. She's just around me. Mm, so this masculine dealing with the Kwame who is always stuck up under him wanting to know his every move so she's crowding him and then she like to start arguments about you she loves to sit up here and create drama where there is no drama you just be minding your business and they just pulling on your energy like that what else arguing fussing I always got an issue with you. Bringing up his past. I know you telepathically hear and feel me. My car, me and my karmic going through shit. Mm. <laughs> this karmic. Is always in a bad mood every day. It's annoying. It lowers my vibration. So the she always moody. She moody as fuck. I always want to argue. Carmen won't go to bed unless I do. She knows something's up. Sitting there stalking the stalking the man, treating the man like a damn child. But I find this interesting right here at the bottom of the deck. It says as long as I'm with my karmic, I try to stay away from you because I know I, I know I drain you. So this masculine know to stay away from divine feminine because divine feminine ain't going for none of this. All of this, mm, divine feminine ain't going for none, for none of that. What else? I'm sorry I've been in and out. Shit has been complicated. Mm. Give me two more cards. Then we're going to jump into uh, the sunset. The, uh, the Island Time Wellness cards. Okay, we got my karmic tries to make me feel guilty about everything that makes me happy. I just don't understand. I found this interesting too. It says my karmic knows about us. I don't know when I'll be able to see you again. It might be a while. <laughs> so this masculine feels stuck as hell. Like he just stuck. He's scared of the karmic. Like he don't even know how to get out of the karmic view. I had to make you look bad to the karmic to save my ass. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. 
Now, that's a big piece of the puzzle. So, this masculine been sitting around talking shit about you to this karmic because he have to. He feel like he got to because otherwise, she going to feel like he still um, wants you. Give me one more card. That's a damn shame. I'm so beyond annoyed with her. I seriously need a damn break. <laughs> see, she done been... See, that's the thing. She done... They done became too comfortable with each other. It seemed like. They too comfortable. She's too comfortable with him. Oh, goodness. Now, look at this. I'm starting to realize that my karmic is my karma. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. When I tell you, do I even need to pull from? Let's get a few cards from the island time. Because, baby. Ooh, that's so key. How does this masculine feel about the plane? Yeah, he comfortable. And he looking at the situation as some, some type of security for him. But I feel like it's getting ready to end. Oh, no, it looks like he had to cut off some other parties, okay? Because we got coffee and seduction. And I feel like this could also be like she's not as sexy, okay? She she may have stopped doing the flirting thing. She, they may not flirt anymore. Um. Oh, okay, okay. This is what this is saying. He got too comfortable. He cut off all his other people that he was talking to for this karmic. Yep. He cut off because we got girl talk and talking. And then we got coffee and seduction. So he cut off everybody else that he was talking to, whether it be friends, whatever, because he got comfortable. This was his sense of stability and security. I feel like that's seduction again. Yeah, and then we got the runner and kisses. And then the Grim Reaper. So he had to cut off. He had to cut off some admirers. It's like he's running away from that. He had to run away from that. Because the karmi, she ain't playing that shit with him. She made him cut everybody off in order to get them benefits. Oh, okay, that's junk. Soulmate, soul connection, partnership, agreement, soul contract. Okay, so this masculine, we got Cameron and Grim Reaper. Okay, so this masculine is trying to see whether or not if this karmic is his soulmate. Okay, I feel like he's super duper comfortable. He's comfortable. He's very comfortable. Regardless of the things that he's saying, these are things that he's thinking. It looks like when he's upset with the karmic, but this is how it began. He had not got comfortable and cut off all his other uh, people that he was dealing with because he thought that this karmic was his soulmate. Now we got not today, not dealing, hurt, avoiding the conversation, angry, boundaries. So they might be mad at each other right now. He mad at her right now, but he felt in the beginning like this was all good. Like this is some type of dream come true. But, oh, shoot. It looks like they're headed for some type of breakup. We got axe and stabbed in the back. So this masculine... Is upset or the karmic is upset because somebody feels betrayed, stabbed in the back. So there's either going through a breakup right now or a one is coming towards them. Yep, because we got runner and X. So this masculine could be trying to avoid this karmic. Um, could be giving her the silent treatment. She could be giving him the silent treatment. Yeah, we got the phoenix. All right, that's the world card. But it looks like so, this masculine is changing his mind, okay? Changing his mind about something here. What is he changing his mind about? Why is the phoenix here? Coffee cup. 
And this is meeting and conversing, and savoring the moment, feeling uplifted in friendships. So this masculine is changing his mind about this connection. And also about, okay, yeah. I feel like this masculine wants some new friends. He's ready to be a damn butterfly. We got the dragonfly. Well, dragonfly. <laughs> this is being lighthearted, finding out things coming to the light, changing, and going through some type of healing. Yeah, he's trying to look. See, when I said the butterfly, the butterfly right here, I ain't crazy. <laughs> we got us, the butterfly ascending in abundance. This masculine wants a little bit more. Okay, he wants a little bit more flavor. He wants a little bit more sauce. So he's getting ready to be more open to being open to communicating with other people. I feel like this masculine tired of being cooped up with this Kermit. She getting on his nerves. She just be doing the most. And that's just what it is. All right, so y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. If you're interested in booking a reading, check the comment section for my email address to reach out to me via email so we can just set up. All right, until next time, guys. Ciao.